what up y'all welcome to the video as y'all coming in y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed so Earl Spencer Derrick James reportedly fell out over money they not working together right now and they saying this this just word on the street it's a rumor you know what I'm saying but Nobody has came to clear up the rumor, so it seems like it's true. So they say Earl Spence didn't pay Derrick James what he was due for the Terrence Crawford fight. Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford was Earl Spence's biggest fight due to pay-per-view sales and, uh, you know what I'm saying, just everything put together that they got paid off from this fight, you know what I'm saying? This was basically like the payoff um, of a lot of things that happened earlier in Earl Smith's career. So, as much as I, I wish this wasn't just, this just wasn't true, you know what I'm saying? I, I do believe it's true. Um, who's right and wrong? I don't know. We're, we're, but I am going to give my opinion on what I feel like happened and how it happened. It's just my opinion. I could be 100% wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this, this is just me just thinking logically and, and do the, you know, just hearing other stories and self stories. You know what I'm saying? Just experience and stuff I went through and just things I heard or whatever. It's just, so as a collective, it's just uh, opinion or whatever, a conversation. So don't take this as what really happened. Just form your own opinion. If you feel like I made a bunch of sense, then, then yeah, we go from there. So Earl Spence fought Terrence Crawford, and I feel like he ain't trained at all, right? And I think he ain't trained at all because if you see his, the way he get hit with jabs, the way his body reacted to punches, you can tell it wasn't any sparring involved in that in that uh, in that fight, right? So I think this this whole thing just kind of like backfired because, right? I bet they I bet Earl Spencer and the camp probably wanted to keep this shit under wraps when it comes to like what happened in camp. They ain't really want to say what really happened or whatever, but. I believe it's eventually going to come to the light. I don't think Earl Spence even trained for the Terrence Crawford fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with the way he was getting hit by punches, the way his head was popping back, that just lets you know that he ain't been sparring. He, he did little to no training. There was also rumors that his ribs was broke, so we know he didn't do certain things. And, um, and for him needing surgery on his eye, that tells you he wasn't getting hit in the face. You feel me? Because if he wasn't getting hit and he needed surgery, he couldn't see. Why would he be the sparring just getting punched on in his fucking eye? That don't make no sense. So that tell you right there, he wasn't really trained. So Earl Spence, PBC and, and Showtime is like the bank. Look at it like that. They like a bank. They like one of the biggest banks. Earl Spence has an account at this bank. So, as much as I didn't want Earl Spence to even fight the fucking fight if he wasn't healthy, right? I think he shouldn't have even fought the fight if he wasn't healthy. But, like I said, he has an account at this bank. You know, a lot of other fighters has accounts at this bank. Javante Davis got one of the biggest accounts at this bank. Uh, Earl Spence got one of the biggest accounts at this bank. A lot of people got accounts, right? So imagine depositing all this money in your bank and you ain't able to redraw the shit. Just imagine that shit. So maybe that should help you understand why Earl Smith took the fight. Even though he was fucked up. And he knew he wasn't going to win the shit. And he didn't train for the shit. Right? So with that being said, right? I 
I think Derrick James is on some shit like I'm not blaming either one right now because I I fuck with both. I fuck with both of them. Earl Spence definitely my favorite fighter. Everybody already know that shit. Derrick James, my favorite coach. Everybody already know that. I ride with both of them, right? So I think Derrick James on some shit like defeat is defeat. As an independent contractor, right? You eat what you kill. If you don't, ain't no PTO in this shit. Ain't no PTO when you out here independent entrepreneur. You don't get no PTO and all that shit. You pay your fucking self. You eat what you kill. And you ain't work today. You don't fucking get paid that day. That's just what the. That's just. That's just what it is. You hear me? So. I think Earl Spence in that mindset. He. I think Earl Spence like nigga. We ain't. We ain't even trained. What the fuck I'm paying for? If. We, you know, we ain't saying he ain't pay him at all, but because they saying he shortchanged him. So I think Earl Spence on some shit like shit. We ain't even, I pay, we, 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 we worked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what we worked. That's what we, you know. So he probably came up with a price that he felt like he was supposed to pay during James due to what they did in to camp compared to, because that's why, I, the reason I come up with that because they ain't had no problem like this before. Mikey Garcia always got them. Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, who guys, all the motherfuckers been pay per views, did numbers, and we ain't heard shit about no pay. Now, all of a sudden, this the biggest fight. But then, this the last he have trained. The only resolution I can think of is he feel like he they ain't do shit. So that's why he ain't trying to pay him everything. As if they actually worked that. But I think Derrick James on some shit like defeat is defeat. And then I think Earl Smith come back with like, nigga, I, I done work out your feet to what the fuck the feet is. <laughs> you feel me? So they both can be right in certain things. When it comes to this situation, I think that in certain aspects, they both can be right. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like, you see what, do you get what I'm saying, though? Gary James on some shit probably, like, I could be wrong, remember this, but I'm just saying, he can be on some shit, like, defeat is defeat. You feel me? Period. Goddamn me, where like, we came out, we, we go in together, we go out together. And no matter how this shit, how much training we did for this shit. You know what I'm Like, we ain't did shit. So I'm going to give you something, but it ain't going to be what it would have been if we would have went all out with this shit. You feel me? So, I see how it can be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The money, it complicates a lot of shit, bro. You know, I fell out with my old dude, my pops before, or, or, over some money shit. Like, so I know how this shit can get. You feel me? Now they on the biggest scale, so I understand definitely how, how this shit can be though. So what I'm saying is like one can feel Derrick J can feel like the fee is the fee. Earl Smith can feel like we ain't did shit. He tried to pay Derrick J based upon what they worked. Right? Which wasn't shit. They, Cause they ain't do shit. Yeah, you can tell in the fucking performance. I don't need no, my name is no sources, but you ain't need no fucking source to see that shit. If you watch Earl Spence and, and you just know fucking some shit about boxing, then you know they ain't trained, they ain't did shit. So that's what I think is happening. So I would think, even though they don't want, probably don't want to put nobody in their business, I would think. Shit, call a third party. Niggas call Al Hayman for everything else. As a Al Hayman, what you think, Al? Do you think I supposed to be paying Derrick James this, you know what I'm saying, this amount of money, even though we ain't do shit? And I, I would think that somebody would be able to have some insight on that shit. Like, how did this situation go? Because this ain't the only situation that ever been like this. I'm sure other fighters that had, that we always heard about 
coaches and shit. And I just didn't think it would happen with Earl and Derrick James. We always heard about this type of shit. So I, I would think that they could actually ask somebody like Floyd or some shit. You know, niggas don't really probably fuck with Floyd like that, but at least Al, somebody got that. So basically, I would think that they could actually call somebody and see, get some insight on it. But at the end of the day, the day gonna end. <laughs> nah, but at the end of the day, man, I, I, I think they need to squash this shit. They sell this shit, make everybody look bad as a motherfucker. This shit look like, this shit look crazy. I mean, what the hell? Come on, dog. I think Earl Smith and Derrick James could both be right in certain aspects. I think y'all, y'all are bigger than this shit. So, I would think that, I say just meet in the middle, man. And both parties got to be understandable. If one feel like this and the other feel like that, I say come in the middle because I don't want to see Earl Spence come out here with no with nobody else. Honestly, I, I just don't. I, I mean, why? I, I, I don't want to see him come out, come out here with nobody else. And I, I don't want to see... Uh, I mean, Derrick Chase, he already out here coming out here with people or whatever, but, you know, he training them or whatever. So, it is what it is, though, at the end of the day. I just want to see you guys fish this shit because, man, come on, dog. Come on, man. We got to beat Bud ass, man. We got to beat his ass because we know we can beat his ass. I know that shit be eating Earl the fuck up because he know knowing you could have did some shit, knowing what you could have done, but how shit played out. That I know that's eating Earl up. Come on, dog. Out of all the shit you know you can do, you wasn't even able to do nothing on a fight. Not because he was that much better than, him, it was because you wasn't healthy. Shit was fucked up. So we got to fix this shit, you know what I'm saying? We got to fix it. It make it look like everything just falling apart and all that type of shit, but you know what I'm saying? That's what it make it kind of like look like. You know what I'm saying? It look basically typical. It look like every, all the other situations. But you know, I think they should come in the middle, fix this shit. Derrick James want this amount. Say, I can't give you that amount. But I give you more than what I gave you. I can give you this. Derrick James, you gotta be understanding. You gotta be like, I, I understand. I love you, brother. Type shit. You gotta be like, I right, bet. Let's go get this money. Let's keep getting this money. Because why trip out there if you don't think you're gonna get some more money more after this shit? Unless one party can think, oh man, he ain't gonna never be the same. Right? So you got to be like, I believe in my motherfucking brother. We going to keep getting this motherfucking money. You know, we going to figure this shit out. And Earl, you got to be like, God damn me. I, I love you, boy. You my coach. And we going we gonna to settle this shit some kind of way. And that's how this shit got to go, bro. We don't need to go to no court. Because once niggas get to go in court, that shit over with. Niggas got to sue niggas and shit and, 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 nah, bro, call that shit off. Y'all niggas talk that shit out, man. What the fuck, how the fuck we got? See, it got me pissed off, because how the fuck we got Bud and got down Big Mac over here? They, they, they good, you heard me? And he, and they the ones came from the most fucked up situation. With, with Bob Earl, and before that, the other person that was with, they came from all the fucked up deals possible, and we been over here with goddamn Al Heyman with the best shit popping, all the paper, all the goddamn knowledge and, and, and advising and shit, and we can't get this shit right, what the hell? Come on, dog. This is some bullshit. So, niggas gotta fix this shit, man. Straight up. I fuck with both of y'all. And I hope both of y'all last watch this video because it, it, it's some bullshit, bro. For real, bro. You gotta fix it, bro. Straight up. One person gonna have both. I would say one person.
motherfuckers gotta be the bigger man. Both per both of y'all niggas gotta be the bigger man. Fix this shit, bro. For real. Y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You subscribed already. And I hope y'all understand what the hell I'm talking about. Even though I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> You know, I don't even know what the fuck. We ain't got no information on nothing, but this just my little opinion. That's all. Shit, but smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe already, man. That's the word, man. I, I seem to go haywire, so I might fuck it. I might as well talk about it. It's already. I was trying to let the rumors be rumors, but it obviously seemed true, so. And if it ain't true, then. Somebody should have already came out and stepped on this shit. One of the things fighters got to do when shit going haywire in your game, you got to control the narrative and shit. You can't be, oh, uh, man, fuck the media. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a Man, it's your name, bro. You got to protect the brand. So if a nigga out here saying some shit that ain't right, you got to fix it. Correct that shit. But it is what it is, man. Y'all smash the light, but I'm out. Uh,